The only way to really know if it's going to work is when you try it in a person, in a human being. To be able to do that, you have to be able to essentially satisfy two principles. The first is you have to be convinced that it might work for that person. And the second is you have to also take on the responsibility to do the least harm to that individual as a result of going through this experimental treatment. We're in a sense at a point where we're in the very first space missions, if you will. This is the first time in medical history that an engineered T-cell is going to be introduced into the brain to help treat glioblastoma. Kathy was almost the very first patient to be like an astronaut going into orbit for the first time. She's a patient that uh, immediately grabs you by the heartstrings that you can really uh, fall in love with and care about. Um, she's 30. She has a terrible form of cancer that's very aggressive. She has two young children that she's raising and a loving husband and a, a family that has surrounded her and is rallying for her. And uh, she's a real fighter. Since her operation about two and a half weeks ago, the tumors doubled in size. Uh, and because of that, um, over the last 24 to 48 hours, her neurologic status has deteriorated quite dramatically, um, such that um, this morning her husband had difficulty waking her up. And when she did wake up, uh, she was very confused and actually in quite a lot of danger of having um, a very um, critical event occur in her brain when the pressure uh, increases. This was the moment of truth for her because this change in her status made, makes it impossible for us to move forward and give her her T-cells. The patients um, who come on the trial have to be sick enough such that they qualify for these novel experimental therapeutics. In other words, they really need to be dying. They need to have a disease, a malignancy in this case, where it's likely that, that malignancy will take their life. But on the other hand, they can't be so sick that there isn't a window of opportunity to intervene. They can't be so sick that they would die before, for instance, the T cells were available for them. The protocol is very uh, structured and says we cannot treat Kathy now because of what she's experienced today. I feel disappointed from the perspective of everything that went into this to, to have our patient ready for treatment, but more so it's, it's very, very uh, saddening to, on a personal level for Kathy to, to pull that rug from under her feet. She knows that, that this was perhaps her only hope for beating this disease, and her, her husband knows that, and her children may know that as well, and so uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a tragic event in many ways. And there's some things that are just out of our control as physicians. Before the surgery, could you play any sports at all? No, I just, well, I did, but I would have to have someone like standing right next to me saying here comes the ball or something like that. And then now, after the surgery, I don't need a person just standing there telling me, telling me that. So, are you actually on a team? Yeah, I'm playing Little League right now. Fantastic. What's your position? Uh, right, center, and left field. Wow, that's great. When I met the team at uh, Children's Hospital Philadelphia, I felt uh, it was like um, almost being at a family barbecue because it was very down to earth. You didn't think of them as doctors or what they're doing to change people's lives forever. Um, <clears throat> they seem very dedicated uh, and it was hard to uh, even think that they were able to change um, people's genetics basically and stop diseases like this um, they talk to you as a person that you know that you don't know what they're talking about they don't talk over your head they explain everything to you and treat you like family um, <clears throat> I had a good feeling when uh, they said that they weren't in it for financial gain. 
that that made a big impact for me. And uh, that's why I agreed to talk to media to help get the support that they need to help Corey and of course other children with other diseases because everything takes money. And uh, we even decided to become <clears throat> organ donors because of this. Just to try to help the medical community with their research. So it's changed my life forever. And I appreciate it very much.